All right, our goal now, or what we're going to do now, is put everything together so that we can look at multiple forces acting on an object uh, and determine that object's acceleration. So, um, we're going to look at two or three really quick examples on finding the net force of an object. And then we're going to do just a couple examples of finding the acceleration of an object with multiple forces acting on it. So, for finding the net force, let's look at a simple one. Here's my object. I have 8 newtons up and 5 newtons down. So, right away we know that 8 is pulling harder than 5, so the thing's going to accelerate up. And so what we do is we take and subtract it. We have 8 newtons minus 5 newtons is equal to my net force. So my net force is equal to 3 newtons. Pretty straightforward. Let's look at another example. Let's say this time we have 5 newtons this way. and 12 newtons up. It's a little bit more complicated. So these are at a right angle to each other. I drew it poorly. So we know that the net force is going to point that way. We can't just add 12 to 5. They're at right angles to each other. So if we look at this, that's the hypotenuse to a right triangle. That's 5 over and 12 up. So in this case, if we redraw this guy, we have a force that's pointed at an angle, and it's going to be, instead of straight adding them, the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared. That's my net force. Or my net force is 13 newtons. If that one doesn't make a ton of sense to you, don't worry about it. And let's look at the last one that we're going to do for this. We have 6 newtons this way. We have 4 newtons this way. We have 2 newtons this way. And we have 12 newtons in that direction. That's a whole lot of forces. Let's add up everything on one side. If I just look at this, overall I have... 10 newtons in this direction, and here overall I have 14 newtons in that direction. Now, just looking at it, 14 is going to win. So when we redraw this, it's going to be 14 minus 10. So my net force is going to be 4 newtons in that direction. Finding that force is really, really, really straightforward. So, let's say we have a rock, and the mass of that rock is 5 kilograms. Let's say it's pulled upward by a force of 65 newtons. Find the net force and the acceleration. That's what I want us to do. So, we have a 5 kilogram mass and we're pulling up with 65 newtons. Now is that the only force acting on the 5 kilogram mass? No! The 5 kilogram mass also has the force of gravity acting on it. The force of gravity for this object is 50 newtons. So what we have is a 5 kilogram mass with 65 newtons pulling up and 50 newtons pulling down. So, we take 
We know 65 is going to win. We take 65, subtract 50, and we get 15 newtons. So my net force is equal to 15 newtons. And it's up. That's one of the things that I'm looking for. The next thing is the acceleration, where I know net force is equal to mass times acceleration. So 15 newtons is equal to 5 kilograms times the acceleration. The acceleration comes out to be 3 meters per second squared. And that's really all there is to finding the net force and finding the acceleration.